What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. Hey, it's Jesus. Today we're going to be trying the Grimace Shake. Happy birthday, Grimace. You guys deserve to get your ears pleased by a daddy ashy whimper. You guys got me to 200k. It's super cool. Thank you. If you'd like to support me even more, I made funny shirt. Ha ha, look at it. Go check it out. Love you guys. Bye bye. Best daddy ashy introductions. What's up, you little fart muncher? Here's some online art trends that make me want to snip off my ball bag with rusty scissors. What's up, you bird grained troglodyte? Your drawings look like stinky ass. Every day when I wake up, I ask myself, is there anything worse than shoving a screwdriver into your urethra until you cry from the pain? Okay, bye. Uh-oh, it's time to publicly humiliate your drawings again. <laughs> Can we get this fucking guy on some Lexapro or something? Perhaps a therapist? Anime, 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 get creative, bitch. I put a lot of work into that little jingle. Uh-oh, we got a car guy. Somebody doesn't like walkable cities. If you're too shy to share your art, at least send me a picture of your toes like this man. Link to my Instagram in my bio to be featured in the next one. Link to my web shop as well to give me money. Alright, it's time to ruin some people's dreams of becoming an artist. Roasting your art part 3. Last time I said if you can't draw, then send me foot pics. You guys did not disappoint. Some of these are actually absurd. I actually really like this submission. We also got a lot of frisky, flamboyant furries this round. Ugh, just sinful. Speaking of sinful, here's some South Park Vore. Aw, oh, don't do that to Butters, man. To be featured in the next round, hit me up on Instagram. You don't know how to draw in two-point perspective? Here, let Daddy Ashy drunkenly punch you in the eye socket with some drawing knowledge. Draw two lines. The top will be our horizon line. Now add two dots to the top and assemble a grid. This will be our floor pattern. Here's one of my dad's booze bottles in two-point perspective. What the fuck are you doing, boy? Uh, dad, calm down. Calm are down. you drawing my whiskey container for a TikTok, you little fucker? Oh, daddy, chill. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just had to take care of old pops there. I ended his life. You have trouble moistening the panties of the opposite gender? Here's how to pull bitches using your art. I like to open up with a funny little pickup line. Uh, hello, attractive female. Uh, what's the difference between me and my grandfather? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there is no difference. We're both ashy. So if her panties aren't around her ankles at this point, you're just going to want to go ahead and show her some of your normal drawings, not the ones of her as a furry. If all of this fails, just go for her sister or mother. Alright, goodbye. I'm fucking done. Making content for TikTok, maybe. I got a second content strike. Just like the worst sport in the world of baseball, three strikes and you are out. You want to know the unacceptable sin that I posted? A foot covered in ranch next to a Little Caesars pizza! I bet you like it when I fucking spit on you like that. Yeah, I had to blur it out or else the fucking CCP is going to track me down and fondle me. What the fuck? Every day when I wake up, I ask myself, is there anything worse than shoving a screwdriver into your urethra until you cry from the pain? Hell yeah, of course there is. It's my followers' art. Roasting your art, part 10. I thought I'd kick this one off with the feet submissions. Please tell me you got the pun. It was a really good pun. Anyways, keep these toe submissions up. You got <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Can you guess who this is supposed to be? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Never posting my face again on Instagram. Anyways, here's some actual PP hardening drawings, like some real humdingers. You know the drill, send your stuff to my IG, I respond to everyone. Best Daddy Ashy Introductions So you want people to notice your drawings? Just add ass and tits. I love pissing off the neckbeard incel anime community, so let Daddy Ashy pry open your jaws and force fuck you in the throat with an un- What's worse than having your breeding sausage mutilated by your ex while you're tied down? Looking at better drawings than yours is the same as watching your dad plow your girlfriend more effectively than you. Hey there, Mickey. I haven't seen you since you walked in on Minnie giving me the business at the clubhouse. Ha oh, ha, shut up, you pestilent dog. I'll neuter your ass. 
Most of my audience is gay. As an Ashy Draws enjoyer, you're statistically more likely to be LGBT than not. I tested this on my Instagram. Now with a majority gay audience, I have to celebrate Pride Month, so here's a Bud Light can drawn with the same length and width as my erect shaft. Now I took an art class with six kids. They were all fruity except for me. Now that'll make a man question himself, but I'm a coochie connoisseur. Uh, there is a correlation between gayness and Gen Z artists, though, so let me know in the comments what you think it is. Also, gay or not, I statistically moisten the panties and tips of 80% of you guys. Jesus Christ. Send this to somebody who's probably gay. Best Daddy Ashy Introductions Do you derive sexual pleasure from public humiliation? Do you have trouble moistening the panties of the opposite gender? So you want to know how to draw with pencils? Luckily for you, Daddy Ashy is here to spread his glutes and spray you in the eyes with a septic sauce of drawing knowledge. Here's some art things that make me want to remove my cock and balls with a table saw. Do you want your parents to love you more than your siblings so you can get the inheritance when they die? So you want to know how to shade your drawings. Luckily for you, Daddy Ashy is here to pinch off a turd of drawing knowledge into your gaping mouth. Bye bye! What's up you bird-brained troglodyte? Your drawings look like stinky ass. Let's go ahead and fix that by adding some details. And bam, with the power of lines, we made your skull recognizable. Whoa, that drawing of mom's pain medication looks horrendous. No wonder dad walked out on us. Here, let big bro Ashy fix this one up with the use of lines. Oh, shiver me timbers and spay me like a dog. That drawing of a dislodged eyeball makes me irrationally upset. Let's cure this error with some lines. <sighs> Have you learned nothing? Do you even listen to me? Just use lines. Maybe dad will come back if we're famous artists. But you, you're ruining this for us. I hate you. What's up, you little fart muncher? So you want to know when to stop shading your drawings. Here's a drawing of a four inch long carrot. Perfect length and girth. Right, girls? Here, go ahead and shade it until you think it's shaded enough. Oh, yeah, there you go. Work that little carrot. Good, yeah. Right about there is good. Yep, no, slow down now. No, you had it. N no, now it's too dark to be that short. Stop shading it. Fucking stop. Okay, let's try this again with a light bulb. Good, you're doing great, little buddy. Nice cross hatching. All right, you're perfect there. All right, slow, slow down. No, stop. St what the fuck is wrong with you? Did somebody dent your soft spot when you were little? Listen to me. Oh, cute little middle finger you drew. Well, let's see if you can shade it properly. Now, I know you're angry, but really? Really, you had to go and make this political? What's up, you little fart muncher? So you want to know when to stop shading your drawings. Here's a drawing of a four-inch long carrot. Perfect length and girth. Right, girls? Here, go ahead and shade it until you think it's shaded enough. Oh, yeah, there you go. Work that little carrot. Good, yeah. Right about there is good. Yep, no, slow down now. No, you had it. N no, now it's too dark to be that short. Stop shading it. Fucking stop. Okay, let's try this again with a light bulb. Good, you're doing great, little buddy. Nice cross hatching. All right, you're perfect there. All right, slow, slow down. No, stop. St what the fuck is wrong with you? Did somebody dent your soft spot when you were little? Listen to me. Oh, cute little middle finger you drew. Well, let's see if you can shade it properly. Now, I know you're angry, but really? Really, you had to go and make this political? Masher Pass, Artist Edition. Jackson Pollock, forgettable, kind of a waste of oxygen, pass. Junji Ito, super creative, good looking man, I'd totally tenderize his butthole, smash. Picasso, aggressively overrated, draws like a five year old, total pass. If I was told I could smell this man's afro if I sacrificed my entire family, they'd be burning on an altar before you could finish your goddamn sentence. Total smash. I bet your mother has some of Kincaid's work around her home. Why don't you go ask that hag if she knows that he was arrested for a DWI? This is Kincaid's mugshot. When asked if he pissed in a hotel elevator in Las Vegas, he said, quote, it might have happened. What an asshole. Total pass. You want to know how to draw a flower? Here, let Daddy Ashy force open that fudge cavern and fill it to the brim with some warm, salty drawing tips. First, start off with a massive stem. Three inches is more than enough. <laughs> right, girls? Go ahead and start adding the flower petals. It's kind of like the labia of the flower, if you will. This is going to be a rose, just to remind you that you will never find love. Next, take some colored pencils and fill in the ink lines. By the way, if you're a man, the first and only flowers you will receive will be at your funeral. I guess if you're an ugly woman, that applies too. Anyways, I gotta go study for my prostate exam. I'm sure I'll post again sometime this month. I'm gay. One time I blew a mall Santa. Drink well. Bye bye Dr Drink well? Do you want to know how to draw a tree? Well, come here and let Daddy Ashy peel apart those ass flaps and fertilize your tight little fecal pipe with some drawing knowledge. 
Right off the bat, we're going to want to make an erect tree trunk protruding from the ground. I recommend using your Winky Doodle as a reference. That's why my trunk is long and skinny with a slight left lean. Next up, you're going to want to close your eyes and imagine your parents conceiving you. Oh my gosh, this is too high! I can't oh, go high. so I must die. be. Ah. Alright, for the leaves, I recommend penciling a general shape before popping the ink cherry. And bam, just like that, you have a tree. Oh, oh, shiver me timbers, what's peeking behind the tree? A self-advertisement. Follow my Insta and your crush will text you. Ignore for seven years of bad luck. Alright, greaseballs, gather around the campfire. I'm running out of ideas and it's time to milk this till it's dry. Roasting your art part, uh, fucking nine. So this round, you guys filled my little colon to the brim with some hot, warm, gooey, salty submissions. Like a thousand, to be exact. It was too much to go through. Uh, those are all the good pictures you guys sent in. Onto the shit stuff. Honestly, you guys have been lacking in the toe department. I expect more feet, more adventurous feet, more creative feet pictures. You need to supply me with feet pictures. Ooh, what's this here? Ooh, oh, yeah, you can smell it through the phone. Oh, oh, no, oh, yeah. Yeah, you just got swindled. Alright, you know where to send me your shit. Uh, also, sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I've been sucking all this co- Hey there, Mickey. I haven't seen you since you walked in on Minnie giving me the business at the clubhouse. Ho oh, ho, shut up, you pestilent dog. I'll neuter your ass. Is that supposed to be a painting? Yeah, it's modern art. I bought it for a hundred grand down in New York City. Ho ho, you really are as dumb as you look. That money could have been donated to the homeless. Buying that piece of trash does nothing for society except feed into the corrupt capitalist system. Oh, Mickey, you infantile little rodent. I bought this to launder money. I'm rich from the cartels, Mickey. That's why Minnie chose my alpha dog ass over you. Hey artist, I have a riddle for you. What's worse than watching your significant other get tongued down by your neighbor on a ring doorbell? The answer is my followers art. Fucking you guessed it, self park vor. I'm an atheist, but you need to find Jesus. Somebody sent in some cute dogs. A lot more of you sent in some fungal dogs. I also received a shaft pick that I cannot show. This guy wants to tell you viewers, hello everyone, I hope you had a wonderful day, and if not going good, just know that I may not know you, but I love you dearly. If you are sad, you can vent to me. Your positivity makes me sick. That'd be a shame if I mobilized my fan base to send hate your way. Luckily I won't. Don't do that, guys. To have your art featured next, hit me up on Instagram. So you want to make and sell t-shirts? First you need a design. Here, let Daddy Ashy lube up that tight little chocolate tunnel of yours so I can cream pie you with some hot salty design tips. First, firmly grasp a pen and draw something concise, detailed, and sort of boxy. Best sellers are usually nature themed or funny. Don't use pencils unless you lack fucking dignity. Get cucked, foul pencils. After this, you're going to want to take a pic or scan and upload to any photo editing program that can make a white image transparent. Now you can add color behind, change the line color, whatever. Just download a JPEG of a mock-up, assemble them, and bam. Just send this to a manufacturer like Printful or Printify and you're all set. Now nobody's gonna buy your goofy shirt about chill-ass frogs or whatever unless you cleverly advertise it in a tutorial video. <coughs> buy the shirt. <coughs> Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of drawing. This man spends 100 hours drawing something a camera could capture in one second. Oh yeah, look at those dirty fingers. Mm. Alright, what is this? Is this a drawing? Are you filling in a bubble or something? You're filling it with ink. Okay. Cool. Oh! Oh man, that thing just creamed! You... don't have to be... the bad guy. You... are the most talented... No watermark, this would look good on my account, says this random guy. I agree. What's up, you musty little stinker? Here's some art things that give me earth-shattering erections. Number one. 
It's a little controversial, but lime lips are probably my favorite reoccurring drawing. In fact, every time I see these, I excrete Nickelodeon slime from my breeding shaft because I'm just too damn excited to contain myself. Number two. Pendulum paintings. These require a ton of skill and hard work. I often try to pee in my toilet in a similar pattern out of respect for the craft. Some of these paintings are for sale for more than it costs to adopt an actual child in the US. So I tried to achieve the same look with a marker. This will be available on my website for $9,011. Number three. The most panty moistening art thing on earth are TikTok artists forcing satire to try to farm views because they're ultimately running out of ideas. Do you hate pretentious artists who have a hyperinflated sense of self-superiority with their fucking stupid posh opinions about how modern art is positively refulgent while they tip their beret and sip their chamomile with their pinky out? I hope these assholes catch something rare and incurable. After doing a deep dive into the money laundering and narcissism in the art world, I came to the conclusion that there is not one based artist other than me. Fuck NFTs, fuck contemporary garbage, and most of all, fuck you Thomas Kincaid, you slimy public urinating waste of blood. I want to drive a school bus through the Boston Museum of Contemporary Art. For legal reasons, that was a joke. Uh, he'll, uh, he'll, uh, give me a wedgie, cause my goddamn jokes are edgy. Look at my boner inducing tea designs, pussies. What other abstract artist has a sense of humor? <laughs> I just want a hug. Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum so you want to know how to draw with pencils? Luckily for you, Daddy Ashy is here to spread his glutes and spray you in the eyes with a septic sauce of drawing knowledge. I fucking hate pencils. They smudge, they get dull. Just like your mother, they're generally a bitch. I'd rather have a dog bite off my little winky doodle than have to do this tutorial again, so you better pay attention. Pencils are all about shading. You're gonna want to have a set of these varying in privilege. I mean, darkness. I recommend starting off either drawing a simple inanimate object or a really uncanny self-portrait. Yes, this is supposed to be me. Imagine you're shuffling through your fridge looking for a little midnight snack, you know, maybe you can't control your eating because of mommy issues, whatever. And a lanky little gremlin on all fours just skitters across your floor with this as a face. Your ani would excrete all of its poo out of fear. Oh shit, that's right, this is supposed to be a pencil tutorial. Just draw with pens, have some dignity, Bye bye Here's some art things that make me want to pulverize my testicles with a hydraulic press. Number one. Modern art is stinky poopy, and if you disagree, you probably didn't spend enough time in the womb. Now, I know it's sort of low-hanging fruit, but this modern art banana should not have been sold for 150 grand. Next time you have to use food stamps to eat, just remember, these sold for 43 million. This artist hoards all of his shekels and jewelry at an ungated home with breakable windows at 197 Hershey Avenue, Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. Do what you want with that information. Next on the hating list are those faceless, fucking obnoxious, waste of space Etsy doodles. There's no ethical reason to make this trash other than to financially exploit white millennial chicks who want to get their wedding drawn in the worst way possible. If you disagree with either of these, go fuck yourself. But also feel free to argue with me in my Insta DMs. My personal life is in shambles, so I will have plenty of time to personally respond to all of you. So my childhood dog died, and I know I'm usually just dick jokes and pent up anger, but I'm being serious, this is a serious video. <clears throat> this chair has three legs, dude. That's what they called me in high school, three legs. All right, there, that's, my, that's my dick joke for the video. So we got this little fuzz ball from a farm when I was like six years old, and um, during my formative years, I'd conceal myself in my room and draw comics with her curled up beside me rather than involving myself in family drama. Being a prepubescent smooth brain, my comics are pretty much just a ripoff of Garfield, but with me and my dog in place of John and Garfield. Even my very first painting was a picture of my dog. Indirectly, she's the reason I got into art when I was a young kid, so every time you laugh at a video of mine, you can attribute some of that to her existence. 
So thank you and cheers to my favorite pup, Sophie, who would bring love and comfort into the tumultuous years of my adolescence. Aw, oh, drats, you're getting discouraged with your art again. Looking at better drawings than yours is the same as watching your dad plow your girlfriend more effectively than you. Like, yes, it's devastating, but also, this person I look up to is doing a respectable job here. Maybe I should take notes. So first, it's important to compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. Now that the sappy cornball shit is out of the way, I think a fair bit of self-loathing can actually improve you. Here's a few artists who dramatically improved by telling themselves that they are worthless pieces of shit every day. Michelangelo, Claude Monet, and even some more famous artists like Ashy Draws on Tic Tac. Fucking kill me. Now, this is an optimistic twist to an ashy video, but I recommend looking at your own art from a non-emotional perspective. You have a vision of where you want to be. You're not there, but the journey is genuinely the most boner-inducing part. Yes, my art and business is not where I want it to be, but day by day steps in the right direction with realistic expectations and consistency will lead you and I to our desired goals. We got this, my brothers.